I love the idea of a daily vlog. The ability to share your life from your own perspective, from your own cameras, on a regular basis is awesome. I finally caught up with all my uh, Everest videos. That story has been told in nauseam, and that was the original purpose of going to the daily format. The problem was that when I was in base camp, I couldn't upload videos, and I couldn't power my equipment. Days started to accrue, and pretty soon, I was about 45 days out from the time I recorded the video to the time you actually saw it. I worked really hard to try to bridge that gap and make a ton of videos to like bring us up to current date. But today I've decided I'm gonna throw away all the video I've recorded up until today, which is the day I'm recording this vlog, which is the day that I'm gonna publish this vlog and put it on the internet for all to watch. That is the original purpose of this vlog, to share my life the day it happens and put it out the day it happens. So let's call this day one, AE, after Everest, in Ningbo, China, Matt's life. Now if you're watching the vlogs in series, yesterday's vlog took place about 15 days ago. Today is the 29th of June. Let's see, some things that you might have missed. I got some cameras, some cameras broke. I got new cameras. This is one of them, the Canon G7X. My pregnant girlfriend, Annie, has been continually getting more pregnant. We've had visits to the hospital, getting checkups, everything's fine. Her belly is growing. Eva, our daughter-to-be, is uh, healthy, and everything's good there. I had a birthday. It was good. It was eventful. I took video. You won't ever see it. My office in Ningbo, China is growing. I added some staff members there who are helping me with the Jayo mission. And you'll see a little bit more about that, I'm sure, in the future here. The weather today is dismal. So I'm gonna use this vlog as a chance to catch up with the past, to start working towards the future and to let people know that might be watching this vlog for the first time what my purpose is with this whole thing. I see vlogs as an opportunity to tell a story and I think I have kind of an interesting one. I'm a foreigner, American, living in China. My girlfriend who's Chinese is pregnant with my baby. I plan to travel around the world on a recumbent trike which I've already started two times and subsequently stopped two times First, due to a car accident, and second, due to uh, some knee problems. And I love video. Foreigners living in China have a kind of interesting lifestyle. They integrate into Chinese culture, they are foreigners in a foreign land, and they have a little bit of a different perspective than most people in the world that live where they grew up or live in the same country that they were born in. So join me on this soggy Ningbo day on the JY vlog. So let me give you a little tour of my home life. This is my apartment. This is my drone. This is my arhu. It's like a Chinese violin. I don't play it enough. This is my house reef tank. These are anemones. You'll see a lot of fish tanks in my videos. It's kind of my hobby. And for those of you that have been listening to my video and you hear that weird sound in the background, this is my dehumidifier. I've got like three of these in the house because in Ningbo this time of year, it's extremely wet. This is my bike, not my trike. This is Flora. Hi. Say hi, Flora. <laughs> this is Annie. Say hi, Annie. I'm starting this kind of all over again, just an introduction of my life. How's the baby doing? Moving around. 
Annie has been uh, frustrated because she's gaining a lot of weight. But I think that's a good thing. All the weight you gain is weight for Eva. If she's too big, I can't. I can't. Mm. Annie wants to go the natural way. And, mm. Tomorrow we have a checkup day. So we'll be able to take you to the hospital with us, the birthing center, so that you can see the update on Eva. Do you think she's okay? Yeah. You. Are you gonna keep sleeping? No, so it's raining. I don't want to go. This is the dehumidifier number two. They're very loud. It sounds like we're in an airplane. That's why. I can't edit it out. Sorry. Also, very important, along with fish, we have two dogs, and they're very lazy. This is Wawa. Wawa had a stroke, so her tongue sticks out. Wawa is 11. And this is Hulabo. Hulabo means carrot in Chinese. She likes to be petted, but she's very camera shy. Hulabo is 7. See how paranoid she is of the camera? <laughs> One thing that I really learned from doing the uh, vlogs in the last 15 days, you won't ever see, are making a lot of mistakes. One of the mistakes I made is, as far as video goes, doing something and not telling the beginning and the end. So you end up jumping to a moment and you don't know how you got there. And then it jumps to another moment and you don't know how you left that last one. Like for example, I'm about to go to the office. See, that's the beginning of me going to the office. The next clip will be me in the car going to the office. And there we have continuity. Now I'm driving to my office. My office is in Ningbo. Annie is my partner. It's in an area of Ningbo called Yinjo. And it's pretty modern. I think a lot of people would be surprised at how modern a lot of China is. Also, a lot of people ask me what uh, what I do here uh, in China. I, I moved to China six years ago. I, I go home from China maybe once every uh, six months. I'm a product designer and an import-export guy. You won't hear me talk too much about who my clients are. I value their secrecy and uh, trust and I wouldn't want to just go blathering that I make so-and-so stuff but I make so-and-so stuff for me life in China has been very rewarding I find that being a foreigner in China gives you a lot of opportunities you don't have almost anywhere else in the world as long as you're willing to eat the food and put up with some of the cultural habits it can be a land of opportunity and it's constantly growing I grew up in Detroit, and Detroit is having a resurgence, but for a long time it was just stagnating, and that stagnation was its downfall. China, on the other hand, is constantly growing. You see sky cranes everywhere, hundreds of them. When I uh, first came to China, I was in debt, probably to the tune of about $100,000. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I was pretty down. My first and second year in China was extremely hard, but uh, the hard work paid off eventually. Today I, I'm, I've done okay. In a lot of ways, China afforded me opportunities I would have never had in the States. In the States I was focused on business and business alone. And here, I've had a chance to do a lot of things. One of them being a TV show on uh, cable TV here in Ningbo. That's what got me into video in the first place. Thankful. This is uh, my office. And uh, I'm on the eighth floor. Nice place. This is my office. This is Jen. Say hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on? Um, annotation. And this is Ola. Hey. How's it going? I'm fine. <laughs> what are you working on? 
They're helping me to promote Jayo and make it bigger and better so that everybody can see it, just grow the brand. And this is my fish tank, which I'm sure you've seen, but seeing as though we're starting from scratch again, here it is. I've got a lot of cool videos on that as well. That's Annie's desk. But seeing as though Annie's pregnant, she's very rarely in the office. And then this here is my disaster area. And then from my disaster area, I can see my fish tank. Now the JY and the JY vlog moniker comes from a Chinese phrase, Jiao. Uh, it's an awesome, meaningful phrase, and I'll put a link to it right over here somewhere so that you can see a video that I made explaining exactly what it means. Personally, I love it and I've kind of adopted it as, as the brand name of everything that I do. Uh, everything that I try to work on or try to succeed at, I try to add the fuel that it takes to get it done in the best way possible. Whether that's traveling, climbing a mountain, having a child, being a good man, all of that stuff. So it's exemplified in my daily life and therefore exemplified in this vlog. From here on out, I'm gonna try and put one of these out every single day and I'll try and make them topical about things that I think you guys might be interested in. Send me your comments and suggestions. Maybe you wonder what life in China is like or what I might be doing to prepare for my world trip and I'll try and cater these vlogs to your questions. Don't forget, if you wanna see more of these, subscribe, like, Check out my Facebook or go to my website, chayo.com. See ya.